What future impact this will have remains to be seen, but according to this article on ScreenRant.com, Paramount reportedly sued for possible copyright infringement in regards to the sequel to Top Gun, Top Gun Maverick. Hello, this is Mara Jade, and I'm back with another video, and those who follow me on social media, whether it be Twitter, YouTube, or even Twitch, know how much I very much enjoyed the sequel to the point where I am contemplating purchasing it on Blu-ray, and that is a very rare circumstance pretty much in my world in regards to movies released in theaters nowadays. However, what happens in regards to this remains to be seen, like I said. Might go away quickly, might impact future releases, who knows. But at any rate, let's go into this article so we can get a gauge of why Paramount is reportedly being sued in regards to Top Gun Maverick. So without further ado, here it is. A recently filed lawsuit has hit Paramount Studios on whether it owns the rights to Top Gun and if its sequel, Top Gun Maverick, represents a copyright infringement. The original 1986 action drama starred Tom Cruise as an ace U.S. naval aviator given the chance to prove himself. The long-awaited sequel, Top Gun Maverick, was finally released in theaters on May 27, 2022, following numerous delays. It's the biggest box office weekend for Tom Cruise pretty much in history. Released in 1986, Top Gun told the story of Lieutenant Pete Maverick Mitchell, who was given the opportunity to prove himself and go further in his career alongside wingman Nick Goose Bradshaw at the Top Gun Naval Fighter Weapons School. Butting heads with both instructors and fellow students, Maverick must prove himself not only capable of high, the high speeds, to be able to handle the pressure and responsibility. Picking up with Maverick over three decades after he flew onto screens, Top Gun Maverick is set to become Cruise's highest grossing release after having an incredibly strong performance at the box office. And also incredibly strong performance the second weekend also. However, Cruise's and Paramount's successful return may soon be facing a difficult situation. As reported by Puck News, a lawsuit claiming that Paramount Studios do not own the rights to Top Gun was submitted to the California Federal Court on June 6th by... Shosh and Yuval Yone, heirs to writer Ayud Yone. The writer was responsible for the 1983 California Magazine article Top Guns, the source material that Paramount acquired and based the film upon. The suit claims that the heirs recovered the rights to the article on January 24, 2020, alleging that Paramount had ignored the termination order, failing to, quote, reacquire the requisite film and ancillary rights to the Yone's copyrighted story prior to the completion and release of their derivative 2022 sequel ahead of Top Gun Maverick's release, with the heirs pushing for an injunction. I said, no idea how much this is going to impact either this movie in particular or any future releases regarding Paramount. The recent lawsuit follows multiple release delays for Top Gun Maverick prior to its May premiere. Principal photography began in May 2018, with the film originally being scheduled for a theatrical release on July 12, 2019, but had been delayed by almost a year to June 26, 2020, as multiple complex additional sequences were shot for the film. A further delay to December 23, 2020 was made when theaters were closed in an attempt to curb the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. It would be further delayed from its December release to July 2nd. 2021 due to the further concerns surrounding the pandemic before moving to November 19th before ultimately releasing in theaters in May 2022 after screenings at numerous events. Oh, as frustrating as that fucking was, it's almost fitting for it to be released on Memorial Day weekend if you if you stop to think about it. I'm not exactly excusing all the damn delays, but it was rather fitting. Paramount's Top Gun lawsuit follows similar copyright cases surrounding Marvel's characters where the heirs of numerous creators such as Stan Lee and Steve Ditko had the option to file for a notice of termination that would either see them reclaim the rights and force Marvel Comics to renegotiate the agreement for future usage of the characters once the company's ownership of the rights expires. While Marvel is preemptively entering court cases prior to the characters' rights expiration dates, Paramount may find themselves in a difficult difficult position, as the date had already passed in 2020 prior to Top Gun Maverick's final release, with the Yone heirs alleging that the studio had ignored their agreement. While it is still early days for the case, it could call into question the possible future of the franchise, as well as compl complicate Top Gun Maverick's future home releases. So who knows? Who knows? Now this... This right here could... go away rather quickly. Paramount is making bank with this movie in theaters as of now. 
Um, so they might be able to renegotiate whatever the copyright agreement was. So it does not impact home releases, but we have no idea until it actually moves forward. Right now, they've basically just been served with papers at this point. But at any rate, here it is. Here it is. So just bear this in mind. It's not exactly the normal stuff I cover. However, I wanted to get this news kind of out there because this movie was very successful. It is very much loved by most audiences. And those who might be anticipating a home release, who knows what will happen. But at any rate... Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Did you see the movie? Did you not see the movie? And if you did see the movie, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Hate it? In between? Like I said, most people I've talked to love it. Most of the reactions I'm seeing, even outside my circle of friends, love it. I love it. But let me know what your thoughts are. And if you did love it, what did you love about it? What were your favorite parts? Let me know all that fun stuff down in the comments below. And what do you think of this news? Do you think it'll negatively impact it extremely? Uh, or maybe even they just, hey, it'll go away. Might even be a blip. Who knows? But at any rate, let me know all that fun stuff down in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Share on social media if you will. I will be on Twitch later on tonight. Jade underscore fire. Back playing Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Cosplaying as Quiet for that stream. About 7.30 p.m. Eastern, so tune in. For that. Again, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. This is Mara Jade. Catch you on the dark side and Danger Zone.